Hello and welcome back to this Global Health YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about internships at the WHO. What are the options, what are the possibilities in terms of doing an internship at the World Health Organization? I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Firstly, I'm going to tell you how to find the information about internships at the WHO webpage and I'm going to walk you through that. It's pretty simple. Secondly, I was an intern at the WHO kind of 20 years ago. Uh, and I had a really positive experience. I'll tell you a little bit about that. And I'll tell you about changes that have been put in place that actually make it an even better experience at the WHO. Excellent stepping stone for you. Great way to get some, some really, really good experience. Okay, so let's dive right in. So about 20 years ago, I was an intern at the WHO, the World Health Organization in Geneva. Two things. Firstly, professionally, it was very good for me. I learned a lot. I got incredible experience. I've often made reference to work that I did at the WHO at that time in my life in job interviews and job applications. My professional network expanded substantially. I was really kind of meeting all sorts of really interesting people, people doing things that I'd never thought of or I wasn't even aware of as options in my public health professional sort of trajectory. The other interns that were doing the internship at that point in time, still to this day, I'm really good friends with them. They've become an incredible circle of friends, both within the WHO and because I was in Geneva, the other UN agencies and other public and global health agencies in Geneva also have internship programs and you get to meet all of them. I mean, not all of them, but you get to meet a lot of them and there's interagency soccer days. Your professional network expands substantially. So not only do these become a good circle of friends and they're lovely people to meet and, and it's very international, but these are people for whom I, with whom I've been in contact with regarding my career, regarding opportunities for the last 20 years, it's been invaluable. The fellow interns, the people that I worked with at the WHO, it's all been very, very good for my career, firstly. Secondly, oh, and incidentally, then subsequently, I mean, years later, I landed up working at the WHO about 10 years ago. I worked at the WHO for about two years. And I would say it's almost certainly a function of having done an internship there, developed professional networks, developed relationships, and that led to ongoing relationships with the WHO work, which led to consulting work, which led to an actual job at the WHO. So while doing an internship isn't a direct route into a job at the WHO, unless that's changed, but I think it's probably still the case that you cannot apply for a job at the WHO straight from your internship. And I think that they, they do that deliberately. It is a stepping stone into a network of relationships, which then could lead to a job at the WHO or some other kind of job. So definitely good for you professionally. And then finally, working at the WHO was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I mean, Geneva is a lovely city. It's an exciting city. There's a lot going on. It's a beautiful city. There's, I mean, in the summertime, there's jazz festivals and there's all sorts of things going on. And in the wintertime, of course, there's skiing. I mean, it is a lovely city to be in. So, you know, absolutely, you'll have a good time doing an internship in Geneva at the WHO. Now, finally, let's take a look at the WHO webpage and I'll talk you through how it is that you can find the, the you know, where it is that you make the application for the internship. Okay, so this is just a quick shout out. Richard Skolnick has a new book out now. What's on the screen at the moment is his Global Health 101, right? This is edition, the fourth edition. I think there's a fifth one coming out not not too distant future. And if you look on my desk over here, always on my desk, always on my desk is uh, Global Health 101. Now I've got, I've used the second edition because I've just used it so much. I, 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 I know where everything is and there's stuff that's underlined and highlighted and stuff, but there's four editions of this, fifth one coming out quite soon. And now he has another book, Global Population Health, a primer. I highly recommend that you get both books and let me tell you why. I don't know of anybody, and I've been in the global health space for quite some time. So I don't think there's anybody on planet earth today that understands global health, the problems and solutions in the way that Richard does. Not only does Richard have an extremely rich and deep understanding of the problems and issues in the global health landscape, but Richard is an incredible writer. He writes in a way that's so accessible, you will find reading his work an absolute pleasure and you will learn an enormous amount. So highly recommended, get both books, do it today. Let's carry on with the video. We're at the WHO webpage, www.who.int. This is what it looks like. Now, the trick is, where do you find the internship stuff? scroll right to the bottom of the page down here you'll see a section called careers under about us click on careers again uh, you're going to have to scroll down scroll down past all of this ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, right at the bottom down over here right internship program click on that 
It's going to tell you all about the internship program. It's worth reading. So basically, you know, the pluses and minuses, what are you going to do, et cetera, et cetera, what to expect. And here is a how to apply. Um, and of course, frequently asked questions. Okay. If you're interested in working in the global health space and finding jobs or finding your next job in the global health space, please consider becoming a member of my global health YouTube channel. Becoming a member is slightly different to just being a subscriber. If you're a subscriber, you'll get notification of videos. If you're a member, you get access to a whole lot of videos that the general public can't see. And those videos are all about jobs and careers in the global health and in the public health space. Up and coming opportunities, talking you through how to apply for a job, what to say in an interview, et cetera, et cetera. So check it out. I'd be delighted to see you on that side of things. Listen, hope you're doing well. Don't do drugs, always do your best. Stay safe and speak to you soon. Take care, bye.